So what I want to do next is I want to talk about examples of Laurent expansion so that you can see what this kind of looks like in practice. Uh, and here I'm going to use the function f of z is 1 over the quantity z times z minus 1. This is going to be undefined at 0 and 1, so there's going to be some trouble there. But we can uh, define this very nicely over there's going to be two annular regions. The first one that we can define it over is the set of complex number c where uh, c is, we're going to exclude 0, of course, because we have the z in the denominator, but the modulus of z will be less than 1. So this is what's called a punctured disk. So it's the open disk of radius one centered at the origin, but we remove the center. And then um, we can also look at A2, uh, which would be the set of complex numbers where the modulus of Z is bigger than one, okay? Those are gonna be the two annular regions that we can define our function over. So these are kind of the two natural ones. So again, if you remove, uh, if we're missing zero and one, then what we can do is we can kind of think of two annular regions here. We can think of, um, so we have a disk of radius one here. So there's the, the first one, um, A1 will be this inside. Okay, so that's uh, A1. And then there's also the uh, one outside. Okay, so everywhere else. Okay, and out here, this is uh, A2. Okay, so inside is A1. Okay. Um, and so those are the two annular regions that we can find a Laurent series for this function. So uh, let's first work over uh, A1. So what we're going to do over uh, A1 is we're going to look at when the modulus of Z is less than one, uh, but greater than zero. And what we can do is we can take uh, our function and now we're just going to do all the usual stuff. Um, I'm going to uh, actually just flip the denominator so this will be one minus z but I flip it at the cost of putting a negative up top um, and then this is going to be negative one over z times one over one minus z and we need the modulus of z to be less than one in order for this geometric series to be defined we need z not to be zero so that one over z is defined and then this is going to be equal to one over z times the sum from zero to infinity of uh, z to the n. So what this means is that this is going to be, I mean, you can write this lots of ways. Uh, this is negative the quantity of uh, z to the n minus one. And so in practice, what that's going to look like is if you just think about different values of n, when n is zero, you get uh, z to the negative one, uh, z to the zero, z to the first, z squared, and so on. Okay, so it's almost like a geometric series, except you have this extra term here. Okay, and the fact that you have negative powers of z that you're allowing makes it a Lorentz series, not a Taylor series. Okay, and so that's the power of Lorentz series there. So that's what happens over the, the inner annulus, so over A1. And then over A2, which again, remember, is the set of complex numbers uh, whose modulus is gr strictly greater than one. What we're going to do is the following. I'm going to look at the function f of z, which is uh, 1 over z times z minus 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor z out of the parentheses here. Um, and so what that's going to be is 1 over z squared times the quantity 1 minus 1 over z. And then now if I write this as 1 over 1 minus z, this is going to be defined whenever the modulus of 1 minus z is less than 1, just like all geometric series. But what that means is that the modulus of z itself is greater than 1. So this is going to be equal to 1 over z squared times the sum uh, from 0 to infinity of 1 over z to the n. Okay, And so this is going to be, let's see, 1 over z squared uh, times, let's see, what is the sum? It's going to be 1 plus uh, 1 over z plus 1 over z squared and so on. So this is going to be 1 over z squared plus 1 over z cubed, plus 1 over z to the fourth, and so on. Okay, and there's the Laurent series expansion for this function over that second annulus, A2. Okay, and again, these expansions are unique. These are the only Laurent expansions over these uh, annuli, uh, and that's really all there is to say. Okay, so there's our first example of a Laurent series.